Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I've done many tutorials on showing how to make deep space images from planets to galaxies. And now, I'll show you how to make a planet exploding from its core. I downloaded this dried mud texture from cgtextures.com. For your convenience, I provided a direct link of the texture in the video's description or project files. Its size is 2000 by 2000 pixels with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. The first step is to remove all the color. To do this, press Ctrl Shift U on a PC or Command Shift U on a Mac. Invert it by pressing Ctrl or Command I. Open your levels window by pressing Ctrl or Command plus L. Make the input black 23 the midtones 1.24 and white 148. Then click OK. Go to Filter, Distort and Spherize. Make the amount 100%. Then click OK. Press Ctrl or Command F twice to repeat the filter twice. Open your elliptical marquee tool Go to a corner and press and hold Shift as you drag diagonally down to the opposite corner to make a circular selection. Press Ctrl or Command plus J to cut the selection from the image and copy it to its own layer. Click on the background to make it active and we'll fill it with black. Since black is our foreground color, press Alt or Option plus Delete. Click on the top thumbnail to make a layer active and go to Filter, Sharpen, and Unsharp Mask. Make the amount approximately 250%, the radius approximately 3 pixels, and the threshold 0. Then click OK. Let's give our planet some room. Go to Image and Canvas Size. Change the inches to percent and make the width 200 and the height 125. Make the background active and fill it with black. Let's merge these layers. Make the top layer active and press Ctrl or Command plus E. To fit the entire image onto your screen, press Ctrl or Command plus zero. Go to Filter, Distort, and Polar Coordinates. Click Polar to Rectangular and click OK. Go to Image, Image Rotation, and 90 degrees clockwise. Go to Filter, Stylize, and Wind. Choose Wind and From the Right. Press Ctrl or Command F twice to repeat this filter twice. Go back to Image, Image Rotation, and this time choose 90 degrees counterclockwise. Go back to Filter, Distort, and Polar Coordinates, and this time choose Rectangular to Polar. Let's give it some color. Click on the Adjustment Layer button and choose Hue Saturation. Check Colorize and for the saturation type in 70. Click back on the Adjustment Layer button and this time choose Color Balance. For Midtones slide the Cyan Red to plus 100 and the Yellow Blue to minus 100. Click on Highlights and for the magenta green type in 30 and for yellow blue slide it to minus 100. Click off the eyeballs of both adjustment layers to hide them and click on the background thumbnail to make the layer active. Open your channels panel and control click or command click on the circular button to make a selection of all the tonal values in the image. Open back up your layers panel and press Q on your keyboard to make the selection into a quick mask. Go to the center and press and hold Shift and Alt on a PC or Shift and Option on a Mac 
as you drag out a circular selection near the perimeter of the quick mask. Go to Select, Modify, and Feather. Feather it by 20 pixels. We'll delete the quick mask inside the feathered selection. To do this, since white is our background color, press Ctrl or Command plus Delete. Delete the selection by pressing Ctrl or Command plus D. Revert the quick mask back into a selection by pressing Q. Press Ctrl or Command plus J three times. Click back on the eyeballs of the adjustment layers to make them visible. Make the middle planet active and go to Filter, Blur, and Radial Blur. The amount is 100, the method is Zoom, and the quality is Draft. Make the opacity 30% and the blend mode Hard Light. Make Layer 1 active make its opacity 20% and the blend mode dissolve. Go back to Filter, Blur, and Radial Blur, and this time make the amount 25%, Zoom, and Best. We'll name the bottom planet Dissolve, the middle planet Radial Blur, and the top planet original. Make it visible. Let's add a wide energy field radiating out from the planet. Make the background active, fill it with black, and make a copy of it. Go to Filter, Render, and Clouds. Go back to Filter, Render, and Difference Clouds. Repeat the filter three more times. Go back to Filter, Blur, and Radial Blur. The amount is 100%, Zoom, and Best. Reduce the opacity to 5%. Here is our finished planet at the instant it explodes. If you want to see your image cropped closer in another document, make the top layer active and make a composite snapshot by pressing Ctrl Shift Alt E on a PC or Command Shift Option E on a Mac. Make a new document by going to File and New. Make the width 1280 pixels and the height 720. Make the resolution 150 pixels per inch then click OK. Fill it with black, fit it onto your screen, and press V to open your Move tool. Click on the tab of your Planet document to open it, and drag the image up onto the tab of your new document. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down onto the image and release. Drag it to a position you like. Then merge your layers. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.